Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's take another crack at the King of Plague. Your currency is spent, your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play with. Okay, should be able to take on one, no problem. Let's try to avoid the failure. It's the one on top. It went somewhere to the right. These options. So any one of the ones on the left should be okay. Wait, what? I mean, I'm fine, because I got the success, but... I swear, the failure was... Okay, it shuffled him two times. The failure was the one on the top to begin with. It went over to the left side, and then it went somewhere to the right. Maybe it didn't go as right as I thought it was going. But I'm suspicious. I wonder if this game cheats. Maybe the later you get into it, and the more difficult it becomes, I wonder if it starts cheating with where the cards go. Hmm. It's really hard to tell. I'd have to, like, go back through the video evidence and go frame by frame. Uh, just a check, can I... Oh, I can't look at... It. I'm trying to remember. Is this the run where I can't counterattack? It is, right? Or it takes food? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. All the runs kind of just blend together for me. I pressed the wrong button. It's fine. Okay, this is going terribly. Jesus, I didn't think that hit me. I'm going to hope that that was just me being a bit rusty because I haven't played for a day. So hopefully I've shaken the rust off and I'm good to go. I hope. A ruined monastery. So sad. Yeah, that's the one where I can't do anything unless I have like a special item or something. Hmm. Can't do anything about the river as far as I can tell. Wandering minstrels, is that worth it? I think it actually might be worth it to go back to the wandering minstrels. I don't think I really have anything to lose except food, and I do kind of need to move about to regen my health anyway, so let's go back. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. We have lost so much, you and I. Yet even to this day, these minstrels play on tirelessly. Well, the chance of actually getting food, given that I don't have any money, is pretty low. Information about the road ahead. I think that's pointless because I've already discovered everything on this level, so let's see what Request a Song does. They're happy to perform for me. They play you a ballad about a mighty warrior, who goes on to great victory and everlasting glory. Ooh, a blessing. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, then it pops out five gold which the player may collect. Hmm, huh, that's kind of cool. 
So at most, assuming you use it correctly, that means five gold per encounter, which is really not much, but it's something. They request payment for their services. Uh, I can't afford half my food, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are they going to curse me? Are they going to give me a curse because I didn't pay them? Oh god. Whew. Oh, you are the one who set us free from the Lizardman prisons. You regale the pair with tales of your valor for a few hours. Um, uh, yeah, totally. We are heading to Kader next. The Duke is holding a victory celebration, requiring the services of fine entertainers such as ourselves. Perhaps we'll see you there. Oh, they said that before, yeah. Perhaps. There's a token in it for you, if you win. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. Win this, and claim my token. Nah, he doesn't even care about me. I'm too lowborn for him. Oh boy. I can't counter. Alright, let's go for the ranged ones. There we go, we're good. I just realized I don't remember any enemy being highlighted for my blessing. I totally forgot to look for that. Of a bitch. It's like impossible to roll without rolling into a trap. Whew. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I believe three of these I've never actually gotten a chance to use. And this one I'm not even sure of. Whoa, wait, what? What just happened? Huh? Wait, 
I'm confused. W wasn't that draw four, pick one? What just... Did I take one? What? Huh? Did I just say, like, no thanks, I don't want any of them? Uh... I don't know what just happened. I thought I just pressed the use key to just look at it closer. I'm very confused. Okay. Cool. Totally worth it. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. I really want to pay to get rid of the Ratman. I really need to get rid of either the Ratman or the Golem hunting parties, but I just never have the money when I get to the Ratman. I could save my money and hope that I can actually come back to the... No, wait, you can't go back down, can you? Back down the stairs? To come back to the... The, uh, the Ratman guy to pay him? I don't think you can, so yeah, I might as well just spend my money. Let's go for food. Work your way through the woods, and see what lies beyond. Once, many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else but their problems, with any other issue than the thing on their mind today. Is that what you're doing now? You know... Dungeon Master, or whatever you are. I'm not entirely sure if this is just a game. It is quite strange if you think about it. I mean, look at where we are. We're in like some massive building. There's, there's pillars behind them. And I never leave. Like, this is very strange. I don't know if it is just a game. Perhaps I'm fighting for my life, and if I can't complete this... I'm trapped here forever or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and pray. The gods look upon you favorably. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Two chances. I mean, assuming that you're picking blindly, that increases your odds from 1 in 4 to 2 in 4, which is 50%. Sure, I'll take it. As pleases you. I worked long and hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious, don't you think? Okay, one thing I'm actually curious about, and I'm not sure if I can do it here, but I wonder what it would, what it would cost to remove that curse. The one that makes it so it takes food to counter attacks. Hundred and eighty. That's a lot of money. I very, very rarely, if ever, have that much. Actually, have I ever had a hundred and eighty gold at one time? I don't think I have. But yeah, it is worth keeping in mind that I could potentially get rid of the curse. If I was very lucky with how much gold that I got. But by the time I had that much gold, I mean, I'm probably pretty much at the end of the dungeon anyway. You 
useful. <laughs> One food for every for every lizard killed. Well, I hope I come across some lizards then. Golem hunting parties over there. Crap. If I don't go to it, I'm not going to be able to get rid of the golems. I need to kill three. Kill three of those. Finish three of those encounters in one run. But if I go back there, I'm going to start starving. So, I can't. This is where it ends. Or at least... This is where the conclusion begins. As much as any game can truly end, your final challenge awaits you now. Pray to the gods again. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I have two chances. Two chances. Confirm or choose again? You know, I think I'm gonna redraw. You know, I think I want to redraw again. Damn, I guess my blessing isn't that strong. I need to level it up first. Ah, uh, two monster cards and one health pain card. Okay. <laughs> again, we see the edge of the knife. The pain of misfortune. Uh, I can't counter. I'm fighting six mages with half health and I can't counter without losing all my food and starving to death. Oh, oh joy. At least there's no traps. We're actually going to be okay. Ooh, thank God I actually got a pretty good arena. It was a uh, pretty wide, lots of room to dodge, and uh, nothing in the environment to damage me. how much time you spent simply chasing down blind alleys. The natural enemy of magic, our Jack of Scales. Hmm. I almost want to just give him the gold. But then again, if I do that, I'm probably going to starve again. Because I only have five food and I really need the money to buy food. Nope, screw you. Probably gonna die, but here we go. Alright, going for the mages first. Alright, that's wonderful. Oh god. Oh Jesus, I'm dead. Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm so fucking dead. It's not even funny. Why did you just teleport, you son of a bitch? Oh god! Two hit points. Better. I'm afraid that is where this round ends. Some other time, perhaps. How bare my cabinet now looks. I have saved much for this moment. Yeah, I really need to get rid of those golem hunting parties and the ratman. I just I have to keep taking risks, because I, I can't really make progress without taking risks. Are you a religious person? Now is the time for prayers. The King of Plague will kill you and lick the fat from your bones. This thing I have created, I can hardly bear the sight of it now. I've worked my way through its many convolutions so many times, run through these conversations in my mind over and over again, wondered how it all ends. Will I ever know the truth? You wonder how it all ends. What do you mean? Did you not design the entire game? Did you not figure out the ending? Hmm. Anyway, in the depths of the deepest cave in the remote wilderness, you stumble upon the old king's fabled treasure chamber. Legend claims that it is filled with treasure collected over 100 years, but guarded by a plethora of lethal spells and traps. Only the bravest, or most foolish, would enter. Gotta take risks. Oh my god. Oh, nicely done. With great skill and daring, you make it through without a scratch. The royal treasure is yours. Inside the chamber, you discover a pile of 100 gold and some equipment. Four equipment cards. Oh baby, I think this is the run. This is it. Maybe. Created by the Smiths of the South and brought to fame in song. Okay, well, I just got a crap ton of gold, so that's not so good. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, I guess I'll put it on anyway. I don't really like the Crown of Hindsight. There's no strength like hidden strength. Oh, upgrades the class of your armor from light to medium or from medium to heavy. Let's do it. Really? Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> this one has light armor. Oh wait, I guess the... Oh yeah, alright, now it makes sense. I was thinking like it would... It was like a one-time use helmet where you put it on and then it just like upgrades all your stuff and then it disappears, but no, it's probably has that effect only when it's equipped, so it should apply to this too. Nearby enemies are immediately slowed as the chilling effects of this armor take hold. Hmm. Interesting. So it's less armor. Let's try it on and see how good it is. You also find a scroll with directions to some sort of sacred artifact, high in the remote mountains. It is vague about the object's abilities. Intriguing. Let's take a look at what I have equipped and just make sure I've got the right things on. 
Yeah, so I've got the Great Helm of Reinforcement, which should make my light cold armor be medium. It still says light, but I'm just gonna assume it is actually medium. So I'm assuming it gives you all of the bonuses of having heavier armor without the lowering of your movement speed. It must be nice to be unpredictable. I am as bound by the rules I've written as you are. Let's pray again. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Just the Jack of Plague? It shouldn't be too hard. Ah, there's always minions, though. Well. <laughs> oh, right, fire. God damn it. Oh, oh my god. I wasn't saying oh my god to the fact that I killed him. I'm not really sure how I did so much damage, but oh my god to the fact that I took so much damage. Holy crap. That was bad. This, on the other hand, is quite good. Hmm, two of scales or the lava golem? Let's go with the two of scales. Oh, all right, cast her first. Die, 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 die. Oh, almost got him. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh my god, it really is so overpowered. Four game guards. Ten food. A little extra help, but it is only a momentary respite. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and wiggle back and forth and gain some health. A tear between worlds. A thing that cannot be, yet is. That should be enough. Step through, if you dare. This can only end one way, you know. We play for a token now. Once again, I'm missing whatever I need to complete that. Okay, so they're going to want payment in food, and I really don't want to give them my food, so I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm good. No thanks. They look downcast by your indifference, but they, uh, as they continue on their way. Alright, 100 gold to spend, let's see what we can do. And there's the dog. Can't remove any curses. Hey, wait a minute. I thought this cost 180. Now it's 240? Hmm, maybe it's cheaper to remove at different stations? Like, depending on the type of shop you visit, maybe? That affects it? I can't even buy any items. Shit. Well, sell my crap, I guess. Get rid of my old axe. I might want to keep the mask. Maybe. I'm just going to get the fuck out of here where that dog drives me nuts. A 
you sure that's the right approach? Oh no, it's all the way back. Uh, okay. Again, a token is at stake. Oh, I didn't even, oh my fucking god, the heavy burden just fucked me. I didn't even count the number of steps, I didn't realize that there's, there was, they put the hero's return so far away that I literally could not make it there in time. Well, <laughs> this run got off to a good start and now I'm fucked. Rest in peace run. Very nice indeed. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? Yeah, so let's see if it's cheaper to remove the curse here. 180, it is. Okay. I still can't afford it, but... It's good to know. Hmm. Helping hand could be nice. Rather, the old gods could also be nice. Lizard eater, maybe. Ooh, this, yeah, you know what? This one's really good. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. That is extremely good. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna spend the rest Many of the money of on these food. blessings are too good for the likes of you. Can I still switch to my medium armor? I can. I didn't get a really good chance to see how good the the armor of cold is. But given that I have such little health, I wonder if the medium armor might be better because it would actually be heavy armor because of my uh, my helmet. I don't know. I'll try this. It's new. I want to check it out. And I was too panicked before to really see if it was actually really slowing down enemies. Everywhere you go, your steps are dogged by death. Even now. Okay, so normally I would just turn around like I did before. However, one, I'm already kind of fucked. And two, it's probably going to be some sort of a card challenge, and I can actually reshuffle once, so my chances have actually increased quite a bit. So, let's do it. You set off through the valley at a run. Soon you hear the distinctive calls of hill giants far above you. They begin to throw rocks down at you. See? It'll be fine. A choice. Select your desire. In fact, it actually really will be fine. The top card was success, and that was this one. You get through the first volley with only a few glancing strikes from rocks. You hear the giants calling out to each other, excitedly. It seems you are providing fine sport for them today. <laughs> Wonderful. Hmm. Let's redraw. I have no idea. Fuck. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh my god, a simple failure gets me three pain cards. What does a huge failure get me? Just like instant death? So yeah, I managed to dodge the largest rocks. <laughs> Whatever. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Come on! 
What the fuck? I, I don't even need to get hit. I'm just gonna have negative hit points by the time I encounter. In fact, if you keep getting negative maximum health, can you get down to... down to zero? To the point where it just kills you outright? Oh, come on. <gasps> fuck. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. Sure. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, sure. Ah. <laughs> Six pain cards! <laughs> Fuck me! I should have heeded the warning signs. I might be outright dead. Oh my god! You're at the edge now. <laughs> Survival will require near perfection in all Jesus. things. Oh my god, I think I'm actually gonna die from losing max health. I have five maxes. <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen? Oh dear. Alright, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna die outright, or is it gonna be merciful? Okay, it takes me to one hit point. <laughs> okay, I, I'm still in this. I can win. I just need to get through a couple more floors, and I need to fight the end boss without ever losing a single hit point. It's fine. Don't worry about it, okay? I got this. Believe in me. In the dim light of a cave, you discover a chest of gold and a finely crafted but damaged mace. You take it with you to have it repaired. Five gold gain cards. Well, at least I'll die rich. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Outside, the hill giants seem to be fighting amongst themselves. Although the occasional stone or injured giant falls from above, you manage to leave the valley without further injury. Can I buy max health? Please? I think my only hope for actually making any progress of any sort in this run at this point is to immediately find the rat guy and just pay him all my money. Just like, kill the rats, please. Take my money before I die. If there's ever been a time I needed a priest, it's right now. Priest, please. Do you have max health upgrades? I don't think you do. You can heal wounds, but... Well, uh, hey, the good thing is food is almost completely pointless. Actually, wait, no, that's not true. I would die instantly if I ran out of food, wouldn't I? Shit, I would. In other words, all the bad effects of food are still there. If you run out, you're gonna die. But the good effects of healing over time are completely pointless. Okay, what can I buy that will prevent me from ever dying? Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Well, that's pointless. Any hit on the player during combat? Well, that's pointless. Gives me money? Uh, whatever. I don't need that. Can I just, like, donate all my goods to the priest as, like, a charitable cause? Because they ain't gonna be any good on me. I'm dead. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Okay. Uh, I could really use longer life. One max health gain card. Please be gain nine, uh, 99 hit points. Please? Please? I don't think that card exists, but please. The shittiest. You gave me the shittiest. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm I'm gonna die, Let but at least I'm a token on their foolishness. I'm gonna die, but I'm actually gonna make some progress. We can get rid of the freaking rats. A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign against the filthy rats immediately. Also, you may take this blade. With my mercenary army. I won't need to rely on it to protect me. Hmm. Rats have so few friends amongst mankind, yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. This is a very good weapon. Hits against ratmen inflict double damage. Press left bumper to cause a forced explosion that will stun enemies. I mean, just the base damage itself is very good, but... 
Upgrading that to 60 per hit for Ratman is incredible. I think I'll take it. It does less base damage, but the fact that it does double damage against rats, plus I can stun opponents, that's, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. Good pick. Um, oh, you know what? Shit, I wish I switched to my heavy armor, because then I might be able to survive two hits, whereas with my current medium armor, there's no way I can survive more than one. Okay. Hmm, it's the casters, though. Die. Die very quickly, you motherfuckers. Oh, okay. Thank God for the double damage. And it's done. It's a creaky ass boat. What tales do you tell these feeble sots? The same ones I read from your past. You know, I think I'm just going to bet all my gold. Take it all, that's fine. Let's redraw. Wonderful. I don't care. 20 gold? Sure. Okay, plenty of shops. It's finally come to this. I am tired. It has been too long. Yet life... Life will not let the candle be snuffed. I want to know what lies beyond that door. Yet, I will not go easily. You don't have to worry about that for quite a while. I'm not going to beat the end boss. Hmm. Time heals. <laughs> Never has such an amazing item been more useless. Pointless. 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 Nope. Lots of food. Should I save my money? For a random encounter or something? Maybe. I don't think I need more than 12 food. I think this is actually the final floor, so I actually might come across the boss. Although I'm going to promptly die. Oh boy. Okay, it's just one. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna avoid it. Oh. Oh. Let's try again. Motherfucker. Okay, well it didn't actually hurt me, it just means I have to fight it. If I take one hit, I'm dead though, so I'm gonna be really careful. actually stunned it for a very long time. Oh my god, that stun didn't work when it was doing that attack. Thank god I dodged.
Okay. Rocking the six hit points is actually not going too bad. Take a look. Hmm. On every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Am I really going to be encountering bandits? I don't think that's going to be my biggest issue. Nah, these are pretty much pointless. Well, I think I'm going to stick with the Rat Cleaver, so I guess I'll go ahead and sell my Thunder Strike. <laughs> this is such a weird run. Oh. So you spent time with the Druids after all. Oh Every my time we god. Turn up with them, we discover new ways to meet old friends. I never agreed to this, Druids. No. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way. I mean. Okay, my cleaver is kind of amazing. Okay, you know what? Wait a minute. There is a way. There, There is a way. And that way is to use my rat cleaver's special ability. If I can get this AoE down and then just run around like a madman, not even daring to attack, just constantly running until it recharges, I might be okay. So here we go. No! Fuck, I'm stuck! Alright, can't go back there. Two hit points. So much poison! Fuck all this poison! What? What the hell even hit me? I don't even know what hit me. An unsurprising end. The cold embrace of death and the first stuttering steps of new life. We reach the end of days, and the end of my reserves. You have taken near everything from me. Okay, well that was a very weird run. It got off to a really good start, and then it went absolutely horrible. I don't think I'm ever taking that the hero's remains again. That just screwed me. And even with the ability to redraw, doing warning signs is freaking suicidal. That is not worth it. That is that is insanely difficult. I mean, if you get a huge failure, you get six pain cards. Oof. Still, though, that was a really interesting run. And pretty fun. It's kind of fun when you're put in those extreme situations like that. Where you can only spare one hit point. So you can't get hurt, ever. And despite how cra crazy everything was, I actually made some progress. Oh, this is for the Royal Treasury. Wow, you get a lot for that. Definitely going to add the Rat Cleaver in. Into my deck. You are better than I thought. Try again. Alright, let's take a look at my deck. Let's go ahead and change it a he bit. He still waits for you. Vile and resourceful. Okay, so we should finally be able to get rid of the Ratman. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, goodbye, you bastards. Alright. Now, is there anything particularly bad that I want to get rid of?
Some cards are locked and cannot be removed from your deck. Hmm. Summer Solstice is pretty brutal. Yeah, let's dump that. Let's dump a river. really care for wandering minstrels that much. So let me see if I can actually find good replacements for these cards. Because I need to pick seven cards. That's actually quite a bit. Um, I guess Embertown Hero is fine. It's pretty easy, kind of just like defend the dude kind of mission. Twisting Canyon can give me a free weapon. Remember Dead Man's Gorge. But let's throw that in. Battle at Brooktop, sure. Bandit attack, sure. A Wife's Fury, sure. Oh, wait a minute. Did I never complete Summer Solstice? It's still got a, a thing on it. I thought I completed it. Hmm, maybe I didn't. Okay, I'll put it back in. So many cool weapons. So is there anything I really don't like? Alright, so Time Heals is amazing. Mercenary Contract is a great way to make tons of money. What does this do again? Blast of Freezing Ice centered on the adventurer. Well, that seems okay. I don't remember if I've actually used it. Consuming Shame. Eh, I don't like that. I'll get rid of it. I don't have anywhere near enough room to put all this stuff in, though. i got to be more aggressive with what I get rid of. Let's just replace a cap. One that I've used before. Let's get rid of Fool's Gold for now, since I don't think I'm going to be encountering that many bandits. Angel Wing, what does this do? Better movement speed, that's pretty good. Let's, uh, stump the Explorer's Helmet. I want to put in the Rat Cleaver. We should also get rid of a weapon. Huge Hammer can go. Mage's Scorn, sure. Chain Bomb, sounds cool. Alchemical Silver, sounds cool. Don't have room for all that, though. Yeah, I want to try all these new, cool kind of abilities that I got for doing that really hard stuff, like Eye of the Storm and stuff. Um, I have too many helmets. Or too much armor. You know what? My shield is pretty much pointless, isn't it? Because I'm not really using it for this encounter, so let's actually dump my shields. Yeah, screw it. Okay. Alright, well, there's uh, another couple failed attempts at the King of Plague, but nonetheless, they were pretty fun, and I did make some progress uncovering new uh, new encounters and new equipment. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon to take another crack at them.